What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just call me a boy what that is. Hold up and watch that bitch in. Hey, shout out What Sleep TV, man. What Sleep TV. I ain't no sleep, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Sometimes we come from that era too. Like, you know, the social media shit got it to where motherfuckers putting out everything, everything about their life, everything about their life. I can remember when shit, when niggas was coming out, I remember Outcast came out, 94. I don't think the next goddamn album came out to about 96, 97. You know what I'm saying? These new fans, we too spoiled. You know? Right, right. We had to wait that long. And then we had to wait on the magazine even read something or hope they was on Rap City to see something. You feel me? Now we didn't got this. Yeah, we didn't have mixtapes. So niggas weren't putting out mixtapes like that shit. Gucci them started that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this new shit, it's, it's been kind of, that's what's been kind of hard to adapt to. When you spoke about the technology earlier, that's the part I'm finally trying to get TikTok going and Instagram going. I've been had them. It's hard to, for me to get them going. I yeah, I got my Facebook popping, but that got them IG and that TikTok. This shit a little difficult. Well, well, well listen though, this is I actually wanted just to, this ain't really a question. I wanted to salute you. Like, mm. I, I I search you up on Apple Music and like you can find everything like easy. Like yeah. that, that's good. Like when I talked to Jelly Roll, he was like he named you know a few people that he had worked with mm. in the past, and he was just like man, they they couldn't adjust you know to this new stuff. Right. You know, so they can't they can't really get to these. You fans our age or just you know anybody because every most people they're using stuff on their phone i searched you up on apple music i see project blow i see i see yeah all, all your recent stuff so yep. You, yep. You, you're doing it right you're yep. doing yep. i'm about to take it all down why well i just started my own label okay so i got distribution through universal which is ironic <laughs> you know what i'm saying wow. yeah <laughs> and um uh, so i've been using cd baby for years okay where they give me 25 to like 30 platforms now i'm gonna have two to 300 platforms you know what i mean so like um uh, you think they listening to spotify in japan probably i don't know <laughs> yeah maybe if you're maybe. from over here right. if you're from over here you might be if you're from japan you're probably listening to whatever japan's using right they probably have their own Spotify yeah. over they, there. They low-key got their own everything. Like, you see what I'm saying? Them, a lot of them don't even, like iPhones is like, that ain't really a thing. In a lot probably of a toy over there. Some like, I don't even know the name of it. It's probably a toy. So that's, what I'm, so that's what I'm saying in these other countries. They have other platforms right. that CD Baby, DistroKid, United Masters are not putting you on. So with this new platform I got, yeah, I'm pulling all my music to re-upload it to be spread out to a whole lot more platforms. Sure. Yeah, yeah. When I talked to Hardaway about you, mm -hmm. he was like, you're really like a pioneer of the, the Nashville rap music scene. Is that, is that true? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Explain I'm why one of them. I'm one of them. Shout out to the Nuts. Shout out to the Five Foot Giant. Blue Cheese, G-Rapper, but I'm one of them, yep. 